Good morning, YouTube. This boy Crazy Lazy, man. I'm back at it with another video. Man, I'm just gonna speak on on how I fucking feel. Man. I'm gonna play the video back and I'm gonna listen to a cue, a, a key, a key line that I said, and that's gonna be the fucking headline title. But dog. Bro, whatever you do, bro, make sure you do it for you, bro. Don't be waiting on no fucking body or waiting on waiting on family, friends. Nah, bro. If you want to go do something, you go do it. If you got to go do it by yourself, you go do it, bro. Because sometimes motherfuckers be slowing you down on purpose. They be trying to slow you down on purpose. Sometimes some motherfuckers don't. Bro. Just go live your life, bro. Don't put your life on pause for nobody. You know what I'm saying? If you're a basketball player and you waiting on people to go to the park with you, bro, you ain't never finna be a fucking MJ. You ain't never finna be a LeBron. You gotta be in the fucking, you gotta be in the gym shooting your free throws by yourself. You gotta walk in that shit by yourself and then motherfuckers come along. Then that's where you can form a team. But if you're trying to form a team from scratch, how the fuck you gonna form a team from scratch? You ain't never practiced. You ain't never been in the gym with him. You don't know what position he played. You don't know his tendencies. You don't know none of that. You know what I'm saying? Even in the real world, bro, you could you could you could have closest friends, bro, and they just not fit for your lifestyle, for your life. You know what I'm saying? You could you could have homies you just drink with, and that's it. That's it. You can't even, it's some shit, you probably can't even talk to some of your homies. Like, dog, whatever you doing, but whatever dream you got or whatever you, whatever business plan you have, bro, you, you do that shit for you. You feel me? Don't be trying to mix your friends and family with your shit because they're not going to be, nine times out of ten, they're not going to believe in you, bro. Some of them, they're going to tell you what you want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Some of them just waiting on you to blow so they could, you know what I'm saying? For you to help them out. But you got to help yourself out in the beginning. That's the crazy thing about it. There's no support system, bro, when you're at the bottom. It's you, yourself, and God, bro. And you got to realize that shit. And then, like, you know, I'm speaking how I'm feeling, bro. That's how I'm feeling today. That's how I'm feeling. Fuck that. You know, and you're going to have to spend money and invest in yourself. So if you like looking good, looking all nice and shit, go ahead. Do what you want to do. Do what do do what's best for you. Do what makes you feel good. Don't 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 like stop yourself because another motherfucker don't like that type of shit. No, bro. No, if they don't like it. They don't like it. As long as you're happy, bro. As long as you're happy, make sure you're happy. You know, and don't be waiting around on people, bro. Just go. You call them motherfucker, they don't pick up. You go. Motherfuckers might be like, damn, bro, I was doing, bro. Well, I don't know. I don't know what you was doing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying be hard headed as fuck. Be ignorant. Don't be listening to motherfuckers. But like, dog, go, go with your first instinct, bro. Because if you gonna sit around wait for people, bro, you ain't never gonna make nothing happen, bro. Never. If you waiting on the handout, bro, that shit. You, motherfuckers always gonna try you. Motherfuckers always gonna size you. You always gonna be like, nigga, I did this for you. Nigga, I did that for you. You feel me? Motherfuckers gotta grow up, dog. Shit. You could be, you could be, you could be 40 years old, your mind on 20. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you happy, bro. Find happiness within you. Find it. Life is a competition with your old self. That's what it is. You, you, you competing with your old self. But yeah, you got other motherfuckers who competing with you all the time. And you got to know your fake friends, bro. Listen to them, bro. Listen to them when they talk. Listen, remember all the experiences you had with them. All that shit plays a role. It plays a count. Because if you don't, if you just, uh... That's just dumb. Ah, that's just dumb. That's just how you act. Bro, you can have a fucking business plan go wrong and have the wrong person there. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to fucking have a... You don't want to have a homie 
who loves to argue and fight at a business deal, your business deal. Now he's fucking up your money. He's scaring away your money. You gotta utilize the people that you know. You gotta utilize them, bro. Fuck that. You gotta. That's what it is, bro. Cause that genuine shit. When you get older, there ain't no more genuine shit. It's no more. It's like, what are you around me for, bro? It's like that's what it really. Is. What are you? What can you do for me, bro? Cause we getting older. Some of us have kids. You know. Like, what are you really around me for? What can you do for me? Why you shouldn't be around me for free? Only, only motherfuckers should be around you for free, bro. It should be kids, bro. Because they don't really got it. You know what I'm saying? Should be like, I mean, you got loved ones too, but they really got to love you genuinely, bro. When I say love, I'm talking about real loved ones, bro. Not just no homie, bro. No, no fucking homie who just, who drinks with you, smokes with you, parties with you, and then after that, you don't hear from no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit be real as fuck. This shit is real. And like, God, like today I felt like, man, God damn, bro. I woke up, I'm like, fuck. I prayed. I prayed this morning. I'm like, man, let me, uh, let me get back. Let me get ready for work. Let me start promote my music in the morning a little bit. And they like, even with the promo, man, your homies ain't gonna, man, your homies ain't gonna care. Some of your homies don't even know how to do anything, bro. Like, when it comes to, like, social media, you gotta do that shit for them. So it's like, bro, if I gotta do that shit for you, bro, what if, what if, what if something happens to me, bro? What if something happens to me? Y'all not gonna share my shit. Y'all not gonna be like, y'all not gonna give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta, sometimes you gotta go out there and network and make new home, like, new homies, mute music. Music, business partner for music that like me that's what i'm gonna be doing bro like that's what i gotta do you feel me you my homie from music you my homie from the streets like i'm i'm catalog I'm, I'm categorizing like i'm putting in a category bro that's the only way bro that's the only way i gotta organize you gotta organize your life like me i'm like what i'm telling y'all that's what i'm gonna be doing i gotta organize my life bro like what that type of shit i can't just be socializing with oh you a shooter you married we are no nah, bro if you married and I'm not married, what the fuck I'm doing around you, bro? If you a shooter, I ain't got no strap on me. What the fuck I'm doing around you? I'm a liability to you. You got to protect me and you. No, bro. That's too dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta hang what you, you gotta hang what you doing, bro. Like, what you trying to do, what you trying to accomplish, bro. You gotta hang with that. Because I'm going, I'm going off topic or off anything, but I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you can't, you will never know what a motherfucker thinking, bro. But you can see, you can see, you can see, you can see shit through their eyes, bro. You know, the eyes of the window to the soul. You can see shit. Body language. All that shit, you can see all that shit, dog. And you, and think about all the all the all the genuine shit you did for motherfuckers. All the genuine shit you did for motherfuckers. Just think about that shit. What you did, bro. How how, how has that like how, how how did that affect you in a positive way? Oh, you felt good, but I ain't gonna lie, man. I feel good giving my dog this and that. I feel good. Did you really feel good? Or was you just feeling sad for your homie? You know what I'm saying? Like, what it is. Like, what, what, what really, what's what's the truth behind this shit, dog? You, you really gotta try to find find your feelings, man. You gotta, like, you gotta, you, you, you really gotta explain yourself your feelings. You know what I'm saying? And stop feeling bad for people all the time, bruh. Stop, stop that shit. Stop that shit, bro. Cause the end of the day, you hurting yourself, bro. And words are powerful too. You know what I'm saying? Rebuke shit, bro. Rebuke that shit. When you hear motherfuckers saying crazy, be like, man, I rebuke that. Speak it to existence, bro. Like real shit. I might sound like a man, but like, bro, I be talking with intensity. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't be pronouncing my words right, but fuck it, I don't care, bro. I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect. 
being perfect is too much pressure, bro. That's too much pressure, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, dog, y'all, man. Look, bro. Y'all motherfuckers better tighten up, man. Because motherfuckers don't really care about you, bro. Like, motherfuckers don't give a fuck. Motherfuckers, they gonna care. They gonna care when you... When you fucking hit the lotto. When, when they know you, you pulling up to something nice. Or when they know... When they see you... Okay, you, you stacking your bread up. The money glowing on you. That's when they care. That's when they gonna... That's when they care, bro. But if when you down bad, bro, don't be fucking like... If you down bad, help yourself first, bro. I understand you helping out your family out and shit, but help yourself first. Your family too. Now help yourself first and your family with like... Make sure you got something for you, bro. Because I'm pretty sure, bro, you got you to gotta take care of yourself in this world, bro. As you get older, bro, you, ain't nobody that's going to take care of you. Ain't nobody going to take care of you. You could be a grown-ass man, bro. And you gotta find, you gotta find alternative ways to make money. Alternative ways to find a suitable income, bro. It don't matter if you got a job or not. Okay, you got a job. Okay, that's one. That's one source of income. That's that's good. Find a couple of other ways. Try. Think. Use your mind, cause motherfuckers cannot think for you, bro. People cannot think for you. You feel me? Like I just found a way to find more, like to, to to make more money. And I and I had this connect for a long time, but I never thought I never I was being selfish on my end. Then I was like, you know what? I can do this shit a whole different way now. Now I'm gonna be making extra cash, and that's two ways of me making extra money. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm an artist. What's so, what's so crazy about being an artist? Everybody want to be in your music videos. You know what I'm saying? Everybody telling you what to do, when to do it, how to do it. You know? Some people, they don't, they don't give a fuck about you. They just want to be around for the fame, for the girls. You know, motherfuckers, they not going to pitch in for studio time. So when you in a really independent, bro, you really gotta do this shit by yourself. Tattoos cost, licking nice cost. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas might be like, look at J. Cole, man. Nobody, man, look, J. Cole got the money. The fuck? He got the money. He's straight. He ain't got it. He, he don't worry, but he got the money. But it, it, that shit, it, it flows for other niggas too. Cause at the end of the day, we don't really know J. I don't know J. Cole. Who the fuck? Who, do we know him for real? Is that his real name? No, we don't know that nigga. What if he was really rapping when he first started rapping? What if he was rapping about that gun? Man, he be so he be talking shit about that shit like that too, gunplay and all that extra shit. He be sounding all nice and shit, but nigga, we don't know you. I don't know you. But as being an independent artist, you gotta pay for everything, bro. For even shows. You got to pay for to perform, bro. That's crazy. That's when you coming up. That's part of the game. Yeah, niggas going to be like, man, that's part of the game. You got to go through that. But this is from, like, artists who don't even know. But that's going to be a whole different video, man. I'm, I'm, that's going to be a whole different video. But like I'm saying, though, man, don't, man, you make sure you happy, bro. Don't stop yourself from nobody, bro. Don't stop, bro. You keep going, bro. If, if motherfuckers feel like you leaving them, bro, shit. Tell them to play their role. You feel me? I'll let you.